Namaste everyone and welcome to the finale event of the Marguerite Festival. My name is Chinmayi and I was given the amazing opportunity of organizing this festival along with Bhavana and Kamal Kiran. I speak on the behalf of the three of us when I say that this initiative has been an absolute source of joy amidst these turbulent times and we cannot be more happy to bring our Guru's vision to life. We're so honored that our Gurus have put faith in us to organize a daily performance, choreograph and perform the Tirupavai, edit all of the videos, and learn so many lessons over the course of 30 days. A big thank you to all of the participants for sharing their talent, and of course, to the audience for engaging, sharing, and tuning in daily. Moving on to the finale, we present a conversation between two incredible Kuchpuri Gurus. I will pass it on to Bhavana and Kamal Kiran to introduce today's speakers. Guru Srimati Murnalini Sadananda, fondly referred to as Auntie, is an internationally renowned Kuchpuri artist, choreographer, teacher, and founder of the Gurukulam style Kuchpuri school, Kalamandapam. She has received her Kuchpuri training from many renowned gurus, including Padma Bhushan Guru Dr. Vempati Chinasatyam, who is recognized as a visionary among Kuchpuri practitioners. Andi established Kalamandapam in 1993, along with her brother, Sri Subhash Vinjamudi, who is an internationally recognized violinist, composer, and guru. Andi has produced several dance ballets, solo performances, and original choreographies for Kalamandapam. Most notably, she has created an international community of Kuchipudi gurus and students alike, enabling the art form to thrive in the Northern Virginia area. The online Madhuri Festival was Andi's vision to sustain the art form during the COVID-19 crisis. We are incredibly grateful and fortunate to have her as a guiding light. Guru Dr. Satyapriya Ramana is a senior disciple of Padma Bhushan Dr. Vempati Chinna Satyam. After rigorous training at a very young age at the Kuchipudi Art Academy, she became a teacher at the very same Gurukula for seven years. She traveled all over India, toured Russia with her guru. She started her own Kuchipudi school, Nartana Sala, in 1993 in India and holds workshops and classes for students across the globe, including Malaysia, Germany, Italy, Muscat, and the United States. She's an accomplished performer and Guru has mentored over 2000 students till date. Kala Mandapam is extremely fortunate to have such a dedicated and renowned Guru as a visiting faculty member. Thank you. So today we thought, you know, as a finale item, what should we do? A lecture demonstration we thought would be very, very beneficial and also very joyful. And we have an expert for that. I will talk about the expert in just a few minutes. Before that, let me give a, a little introduction. As to the relevance of Indian classical dance in this mixed culture. Now you may ask, what is a mixed culture? Mixed culture is where there are merging of two cultures harmoniously in this case. Merging of, you know, uh, culture from the first generation who came from India uh, with the kids that are born here, the second generation or the third generation, the merging of both cultures. So it's a natural desire for the parents to want to impart their culture to the kids. And that is very essential. Knowing our roots will give us that confidence, uh, that identity that we all require. That is very essential. And then living in this culture, in the Western culture, we absolutely love this culture. And there are so many beautiful things that we want to imbibe. We want our children to have, because they are living in this country. We are a part of this culture. So how are we going to bring these two cultures together and have a a, a harmonious kind of a thing where the personality of a child is developed in a very beautiful way. It's very important for the development, for the mental health of the, of the child. There should not be any confusion. And there, there need not be any confusion because as long as things are very positive, positive things can merge with positive things very easily. There is no con conflict about that. Now you see, uh, let's go to our ancient wisdom. And then I will, I will talk about something, then I will introduce our main guest, uh, our faculty of 
Kalamadapam, our visiting professor, Guru Dr. Satyapriya Ramana. I will talk about her in just a few minutes. Now, if you take our ancient wisdom as I was talking about, uh, we worship different things. We worship different things like earth. We worship earth. And it's very relevant for us during our any of our performance. We pray or we put namaste to earth first before we start a performance. And there is a slogan for that. I would ask Dr. Satyapriya Ramana to mention that slogan about Mother Earth. Namaskaram, yeah. Satyapriya. Samudra Vasane Devi, Parvatasthana Mandale, Natyam Karishe Bhu Devi, Padhagata Kshamaswami. See, we have given so much importance to Earth. And now in the Western culture, now with this education, Western education and all that, we are talking about how important the Earth is, how respectful we should be with the Earth. If we are not respectful to the Earth, you see all the pollution problems and all kinds of uh, uh, global warming, different problems, different issues are there. So in our ancient wisdom, they already said, Mother Earth, how do you treat your mother? With a lot of love and respect. You can't throw anything you like on, on, you know, in front of your mom. It's the same thing. The Eastern culture has given the place of a mother to earth. That's why even here we call it mother earth. And that is an integral part of our Kuchipudi uh, dance practice, isn't it, Satyapriya? Yes, right. It's very true. So, uh, then, and then, um, uh, Satyapriya, uh, most of the times, you know, uh, all our fundamental values uh, of ethical living, we, we, yeah. we, we depend upon Ramayana and Mahabharata. That's right. We de and beautiful then we ethics, yes. Beautiful yes. ethics. They are just, you know, not just story books or anything like that. At the end of that, what is it that you're learning? You're learning ethical behavior. And that we teach through dance. Yes. We have we have the Shavataram's item you 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 know you you teach and we have uh, uh, Ramayana and Mahabharata plays or their ballets or their Ramayana Shabdam Manduka Shabdam all these stories all yeah, the stories different, different and the story the children will learn ethical living and that is that is a universal value it has nothing to do with the east or west or anything like that it's a universal value and then what else uh, Satya Priya Auntie. Um... I'm so happy to be part of Kala Mandapam. And I'm really proud to say that I'm a uh, visiting professor of Kala Mandapam. And here I see both Abhinayam and Druttam are taught at, with the same uh, importance. And uh, you're balancing both so beautifully. As much as uh, the footwork is important for classical dance, the Abhinaya is also given equal importance. Uh, why do we need Abhinaya? Why not just footwork? You know, like tap dancing and other things are there, even in the Western culture, there is a footwork is, is done. In ballet, footwork is there. But what about, what about this uh, Kuchipudi art? Why Abhinaya is very important? See, most of the dances that we do they convey a certain message. It could be, you know, you take Ramayana through scriptures, you know, some scriptural knowledge will be there, whether you're talking about Krishna, or Rama, or Narasimha, or hero, heroine, whatever you're talking about, you're conveying a message. So when you want to convey the message, which is the most important part of the human body, the face, right? If you say you're very happy, you're not going to laugh with your hand, is it possible? No, it's not possible. You're not going to smile with your feet. It has to be expressed only through the face. So Abhinaya is very, very important. If you want to convey a message, this is the most important part of the human body. So in Abhinaya, uh, when, when we are doing Abhinaya, you know, there we, we talk about, the, it's an enormous subject, but I just want to, touch base with few things. 
Number one, uh, there is a Nayaki and there is a Nayaka. There is a heroine and there is a hero. Most of the times, the Paramatma is the hero and the Jivatma is the heroine. That, that is how it is. It is designed in our uh, fine arts. The hero is the Lord and the heroine is the, is the Jivatma, the person. The person here is not female or male. It's not there. Because if you take any of these Mahatmas, uh, for example, Annamaya, you know, and in Annamaya, he's talking so much of Sungara. So as a hero, he's looking at the heroine, the goddess itself, you know, there is a relationship that he builds. It's just a Jivatma Paramatma relationship. And if you take Narayana Tirthavar, his uh, songs, for example, if you take, uh, it's all towards Lord Krishna. Now Krishna is the, is the ultimate, the Paramatma, and the Jivatma is, is narrating about Lord Krishna. So basically the hero-heroine relationship is between the Prakriti, which is the female aspect, and the Purusha, the male aspect. The, the Jivatma and the Paramatma. So most of our Javali uh, Padams or something, you know, you always see a hero and heroine. Even uh, Jayadeva Jay Sashtapadis are also like that, where there is a heroine and a hero. Now in this Nayakis, there are fundamentally, I think, you know, uh, there are three Nayakis I want to mention about. Uh, one is Mugdha Nayaki. The other is Madhyama Nayaki and then Pradhanayaki. Now, if you take Mukthanayaki, Mukthanayaki is a heroine. And uh, indeed, you know, she's a very young heroine and she's very much in love with, with, with the hero, uh, the Nayaka, she's very much in love. But she's, maybe because of her age, uh, she's very, very shy. That is Mukthanayaki. There's a lot of love in her, but she is very shy. To express herself. Madhya Manayaki generally, you know, she wants to spend time with her husband. Most of the human race we see, most of the things, you know, we are all Madhya Manayakis. At least, you know, you want to spend time with your husband. And then, you know, sometimes you may be a little shy. Sometimes, you know, you may be, you know, a little bit more uh, not so shy. That is Madhya Manayaki. And then Pradha Nayaki. She's uh, Pradha Nayaki, I think, uh, very aggressive heroine. So we have covered all three kinds of heroines here. And then there are other kinds of Nayakis are there. The, the first one that I would like to talk about is Swadhina Padika Nayaka. Nayaki. Swadhina Padika. Who is Swadhina Padika? Now, for that, we can give a good example, uh, Satya Priya. Swadhina yeah. Padika. Mundu Telpi <coughs> in uh, Parulana Mata Aunty. Ah. Mundu Telpi Pudu movie, Vindu Petara. Uh, what, what does that indicate? So, Mundu Telipi, Ipudumovi, she's very confident. No matter where you went, what you did, God only knows. But then you still will come back to me. Swadhina Patika. She's very confident. So, that uh, we will demonstrate a small piece of, of that. You know, Satya Priya will demonstrate that. Uh, the example you should give is uh, uh, the, uh, very the uh, I, item from uh, Bhamane Satya Bhamana from Parijatam Dance Bali, Auntie. Ah. Yeah. I mean, 
Satya Bhama, there's no doubt, there's, the love that she has for Lord Krishna is enormous. She loves him so much. But then she also is, a, is the daughter of Satrajitu, who is a king, right? She's very arrogant. She's extremely arrogant. She's very, very confident. In that love, she doesn't see that she needs to respect her husband in the way that we do. You know, we have certain norms or then, you know how you respect a person. Where she takes her uh, flat and then she hits him with her flat. And also, we can give that example also. You know, she kicks him with her, with her uh, leg. Natana Sutra Dhari Murari. Etula Data Galado Na Agnya Etula Data Galado. How can he go beyond what, whatever I say? He has to listen to me. If I say, sit down, Krishna, he has to sit down. If I say, stand up, Krishna, he has to stand up. You have to do that. That's how confident she is. That's how arrogant she is. But all this is because her, of her extreme love for the Lord. That we should not forget. She loves him so much. Doesn't matter, there are no barriers for her. That is Satya Bhama character. The most beautiful, the delicate, uh, dainty, uh, beautiful women. Very, very dainty, beautiful women. They are getting ready to go out. That is what it is. They dress up so beautifully so they can go all of their husbands or heroes, whoever, you know, they are in love with. That's what Svedalena uh, Vayyarulu is about. Satya Priya, you will please, please show us a little bit of that.
Then we have Virahot Kankita. Now, who is she? What kind, what is her character like? Such a prayer. What yeah, is the this one that... from uh, Radhika Krishna Stanavini Hitamapi? Ah, the, the, what exactly is that? I mean, she was so much uh, feeling the separation of the Lord, so much, even those ornaments that she was wearing, she couldn't bear the weight of that. Am I correct? The next one is Proshit Patruka. Uh, you have example would be? Uh, Shekunalu Manchivayanamma. Uh, Shekunalu Manchivayanamma. She's all dressed up and she's very happy. And the, the auspicious movements are there. Everything looks auspicious. All the uh, omens are good. And uh, she's waiting for her husband to come home. All dressed up. That is happening. Then we have uh, Vasava Sajika, which is the... Jajati Napalina. Uh, Adi, what, what, what do you think? What is, what is that? Uh, is it where... Um, yeah. Uh, she really she herself saw, and wait for her husband. Yes. Yeah, that is also same color. Then it yes. would be similar. It would be similar yes. as this. Uh, she's also dressed up. And then uh, uh, she's very... Uh, She's kind of shy and happy, and she's waiting for her husband. That is what it, it is about.
And then we have um, Vipralabdha. Vipralabdha. Kajjalamanina from uh, Yahi Madhava. Ashtapati. Mm, In that, what is happening is uh, the she's all uh, waiting for the husband, all dressed up, everything, whatever, whatever way you know, she's waiting for the husband uh, or the hero. And he comes and she looks at him and she says, uh, oh, where did you get that, uh, that, uh, that ITEX or, uh, you know, the, do you call that ITEX eyeliner, whatever the modern technology, you know, now we have eyeliners, some kind of an ITEX, that black thing, it's all over your lip. Who were you with? You must have been with somebody. That's why you are late. So she's very upset. She's looking at, at the hero, looking for some, some little signs. Was he faithful to her or not? Did he go somewhere or not? That is what this particular uh, verse in Yahmadava is. Last but not least, at this time, I would like to say, we all have all these heroine characters in us. We all have it, but the proportions are different. The last one is Khandita Nai. Khandita Nai, what, what is the song that yeah. you are selling? Va Vani Pondu Javali. Vani Pondu Javali. Uh, so what is she saying? She's saying, Jana Mata Lalla Dani. Uh, so she is looking at the husband. He has come late, so she's suspecting him. And she's also, because it, it may not be eyewitness, but she's imagining, because he hasn't come home for two or three days. So where was he? He probably is at the other woman's house. Probably she's making good food and he's eating there. Probably, you know, she's, uh, you know, he's uh, such a slave to that other woman. He may be massaging her feet. This is the character. And then she's confronting him. She's confronting him. She says, this is what you're doing. That is Khandita Nayak.
uh, I am going to present a, a Padam, a Chaitraya Padam. And uh, Padams and Javadis are somewhat similar, but Padams go much slower pace, much slower pace. So to dance Javadi itself is very, very difficult. And to do Padam is much more difficult because you have to sustain the expression. To sustaining the expression is not an easy thing, Satya Priya. Like, it's, uh, yes, Auntie, very, very really yes. Waiting to see your dance, Auntie. Yes. <laughs> Just do it. So. Yeah, beautifully. So. Till now, we have seen like uh, all the Javalis and Ashtapatis. The Javali is totally of Srungaram based, and Padam is uh, Bhakti Srungaram. And we want to see you what you're going to do, Auntie. Just waiting to see. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Oh, so, uh, uh, well, you know, now that you are saying Bhakti Sungaram, I have to evaluate, you know, if the Padam that I showed was uh, any Bhakti was there. But Bhakti, whether I, I showed it or not in my heart, that there was Bhakti, honestly, it was, there was Bhakti in my heart. So you're saying Bhakti Sungaram, and that uh, I will be showing it to you all. This is how we want to conclude our uh, market. <laughs>
we want to conclude our uh, Margari festival with a very scholarly uh, teacher, my friend, my guru, everything that I can think of because I always discuss with uh, Satyabriya. We discuss so many things. In the discussion, uh, you learn so much. So obviously, you know, I every time I have a uh, discussion with Satyabriya, I learn so much. You know, so. Yes, we discuss uh, Hours and hours together, Auntie. We used to have very nice. Yes. And uh, thank you, Satya Priya, for everything you do. Yes. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to participate in your discussion. Thank you very much. Very Hello, nice. And, um, uh, again, once more, I take uh, um, this time to thank uh, Chimayi and uh, Bhavana and Kamalakiran. All three of them did, uh, you know, um, put together this uh, music and dance festival, this lecture demonstration and all that. And uh, of course, uh, our director, Kavita, and our other teachers, they're cooperating with everything, you know, preparing the students for the evening cultural program. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.